I'm taking apart this Logitech K220 keyboard. I had it for 10 years, it still works, but it's time for him to donate the circuit board to make a mechanical keyboard wireless. The buttons mostly work fine, but it's not really appropriate for typing because it's reduced, reduced size and uh, I just want a wireless mechanical keyboard. <laughs> That's all there is to it. So first, let's get the batteries out. These are rechargeable, I use 850 milliamps. They last about 6 months because these are the cheapest crap I ever saw. Lenmore. Never heard of that brand. <laughs> Never ever ever. They also disappeared after an e a year or two on the market. But they still work. For 6 months it's good enough. Okay, batteries are out. And if I remember correctly, you have to both remove the screws and then some snap fitted crap. But it doesn't matter if I break it. I'm not planning to use this keyboard again. It served me well, but it's time to go. So many screws here. Yeah, the other side. And the screws for the logic board are inside, if I remember correctly. They are not accessible from here. So that's all of them. I think I can lift it up. I think, no, oh, here is the snap, whatever, here, flathead screwdriver, maybe, Did I miss a screw? No, I got all of them. Hmm. I remember there was a trick to it. But what exactly? It's out here. Oh, I just had to remove the other side from the clips. And it snaps out, hopefully. Come on out. Something is holding it in this corner. But why? Come on out. Like that, okay. So I remembered correctly, the logic board is here. That's what I'm interested in. Yes. I remove it and then the hard work begins making a map of the wiring and uh, recreating it in the me mechanical keyboard that will be a lot of fun okay nice here's the antenna battery will go here okay Nice little chip. So I'll have to create something to connect to these pads because I don't really want to solder on them permanently. Probably I'll take a video card or something that has a similar but uh, copper uh, contact pads and uh, yeah, fasten it, tighten it, so it will make good contact, and then solder onto that 
circuit board or it can be other solutions like a piece of rubber and uh, wires stick through a hole and bent and then that piece of rubber fastened down it can be all sorts of things but first I'll have to map out the circuit boards of the these flat things so I can recreate it on the mechanical keyboard yeah that will be fun so let me just show you which chip is this in conclusion or something oh it's upside down and can it focus maybe like that yeah you can see it nrf 22 le 2 m 1 m 1 2 2 0 m a 9 k a okay whatever <laughs> you can see it so that's it for this video i will have to map the circuitry for the switches that will be fun